all right so in the last two videos we've talked about uh, decision control with uh, if else and there's actually another way to do decision control in C and that's what we're going to look at in this video so uh, let's just start with uh, creating a variable and taking an input for that variable and um, I need a scanf here person d and now that I've taken n as input um, what I want to do is uh, let's say I want to print um, n equals 0 if n is 0 n equals 1 if n is 1 and uh, I want to print n is not binary let's say if uh, n is neither 0 nor 1 and there might be uh, a, quite a few ways to do this but uh, what I'm going to do is use uh, the other kind of decision control that uh, I'm talking about so what I need to do here is um, write switch um, and then I need to give it the variable name which I want to switch so uh, that's n here and I'll tell you what all of this means in uh, a bit and here what I need to do is I need to write the cases so the first case that I want is case 0 um, and I need to give a colon here and in the next line I'll just do a printf and I'll write n is 0 and the next case that I want is case 1 here I'll just do an n is 1 and uh, this thing has um, instead of an else like we had in else if uh, we have a default here and what the default means is basically just that uh, if none of these cases satisfy then it's going to be the default part that's going to be run so I give a printf here and I say n is not binary uh, not a great statement but let's just keep it like that so uh, once again let's go through what's going on here we are talking about switching a variable n um, and we have different cases for n and the first one is case 0 so uh, this is basically just equivalent to saying if n equal equals 0 um, and this part is going to be run in that case and if n is equal equals 1 then it's this part that's going to be run and uh, this is just like the else so this is going to be run if uh, none of these uh, satisfy and I don't really have to give uh, any braces here because um, whatever is still the next case is actually considered uh, part of this uh, case so the block of this case 0 is actually till uh, just the next case coming up actually uh, it's not even that we we'll look at uh, how it works in a while so let's go ahead and uh, compile this so this is switch case dot c dash o switch case dot exe and switch case so let's try giving uh, n some value like 5 it says n is not binary that's as expected works fine uh, but let's give it a value something like 0 um, it actually prints n is 0 then n is 1 and then n is not binary um, that's something that we didn't expect here so what really happens is uh, whenever uh, C finds whenever the compiler finds uh, a case that actually satisfies uh, the condition it just keeps falling through so uh, when n is 0 this has become true so it executes this then it just ignores this part and executes this and then it executes this and if I had let's say five more cases uh, right here 
um, it would have executed all of them if n had been 0 and if n had been 1 it would have implemented this and then those five cases then this so even right now if I give n equals 1 it's going to say n is 1 and then it's going to say n is not binary so uh, there's actually a simple way to solve this and the way to do that is uh, writing break here so uh, whenever you're done with whatever you want to be done in a case in switch case just uh, add a break at the end and I don't really need uh, a break here but I could add it that's not a problem so let's just go ahead and compile this now and let's say n0 so this time it correctly prints um, n is 0 so what this break does is basically it just gets out of the switch case altogether so uh, what we want to do is if we've got n equals 0 we want this to be executed and then we're done with the switch case so we just get out of it using this break right here so uh, that's how a switch case works and there's actually a disadvantage with switch case um, we can only check equalities here we can't check uh, less than or equal to or something like that so uh, let's say we want to do something like age is less than 18 um, we can't really do that with a switch case a switch case is uh, primarily for uh, just equalities so we can check if age is equal to 18 with a switch case but not less than uh, 18 so that's it about switch case and um, I think this uh, video hasn't been too long but um, I just wanted to give one video for switch case uh, because it's important to know so I'll see you next time